If you've been paying attention to the news, you may have heard about a paralyzed man being able to walk again thanks to brain implants or Neuralink's brain chips. But how exactly do these implants work? Well, the first thing to understand is that our brain is essentially a bunch of cells called neurons, which fire in a complicated pattern of electrical signals. When a neuron is activated, a signal called an action potential travels down the neuron. The action potential is basically caused by rapid changes in the ion concentrations across the neuron membrane. Brain implants are usually electrodes, which are surgically placed into either the cortex or the deeper white matter tissue of the brain that can detect the changes in ion concentrations across a neuron's membrane and send it to some external device such as a brain-computer interface for analysis. But that's not all. Certain neurosurgical procedures can implant electrodes which deliver carefully controlled currents to generate an electrical field that can result in alterations of the ion gradient across a neuron's membrane, which can lead to activation or inhibition of the neuron. Such technology has already been approved and used for clinical applications, like deep brain stimulation which is used to treat conditions like Parkinson's disease. Scientists are still trying to learn more about the mechanisms behind modulating neuron activity, but it certainly has shown promise in many medical applications. If you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more science videos.